This is my uh, English setter. She's two years old, Jenny. And we're going to head up to Udovich Game Preserve. I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a great place. It's about 10, 11 miles out of Orm, Minnesota. And I'll tell you what, uh, it's set up. He's got like 650 acres just for pheasant hunting alone, plus another 1,000 acres for deer hunting. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is go out and do some uh, bird hunting here. we got a lot of great dog work and uh, had a lot of fun. Randy's our guide here and Randy's uh, been here all fall. He knows this uh, area real well. He's got a lot of acreage here, doesn't he? Lots of room. Lots, Lots of, of room. room. I see where this clubhouse field here, number two, and then they got fields east and west of here. Huh? Yeah, he's got uh, five fields. I think 600 acres. 600 acres. Cleared. Wow, neat. And then uh, we can hunt in the woods also if you well, feel like you're shooting good. You know, the last thing I ever thought I'd be pheasant hunt up at Orr, Minnesota. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It is. It really yeah. is. It's great. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, guys, we're going to spread out about 10 feet apart. Perfect. Okay, guys, we'll move slow and easy most of the time until we don't. We have to hurry. <laughs> yeah. But try not to run. Just, yeah. you know. Sure. If I say uh, move up, move up, do the best you can. Mm -hmm. Kind of a brisk, brisk walk. Okay. You ready, Moon? Okay, hunt him up. He's working hard, guys. Well, close. Dad, dad, had a boy. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> huh, I lied. Good shot, Kurt. Come here, right here. What a good boy. Attaboy, Mooner. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Kurt, you can go ahead out on the right fork with Julie. Good shot. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at him come across the water. He's a water dog, too. <laughs> Oh, that's neat. Yeah, beautiful. He washed the bird off for you. Yeah. <laughs> no mulligans. No mulligans, yeah. All right. Good job, Moon. Good I'll go. go. Oh. Good shot. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's another great retrieve. <laughs> Come on, Mooner. Yeah, that's a good boy. Thank you. Okay. Might as well go this way. <laughs> Gonna happen. Good shot. All right. Nice rooster. Beautiful. Nice color on it. And boy, these birds are flying. Man, are they nice. I'll tell you, these roosters... These rooster pheasants are, are something else. I'm just, just amazed at, at how beautiful they are and how they can hide and run. They, they'd rather run than fly, <laughs> which is, keeps them alive a lot of times. Well, we're having a great day. Good shot, Butch. Hey, we got that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one was like a 
South Dakota rooster coming out of the cattails. Yeah. <laughs> Good job there, Moon. Catch it up, buddy. Good boy. Come on, Moon. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Want to rinse your mouth out? Huh? Dad, dad. Oh, good nice. boy. Thank you. Boy. Nice, nice. <laughs> Come here. That'll look good. Huh? Good shot, Butch. What a good boy, Moon Fetch. That a boy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Randy, nice to have uh, water in the field here too for the dogs. Oh, absolutely. You know, this is, we're late season now, but uh, there are 70 degree days in oh, October and even September. Right. And this is just absolutely yep. saves the dogs. I know it. Yeah, it was awful warm fall too. You know, we had a lot of 60, 70 above, so. We sure did. That's nice, Dennis says he's all over. Yeah, one in each field. One in each field, okay. Got that little stub tail's going. <laughs> Good shooting. Everybody get a shot off? All right, teamwork, all right. teamwork. Yeah. Go team. Getting birdie. Perfect. All right. Good girl. Get the bird. That's a good girl. You shoot, pointed that one nice. Yeah, good girl. That's your bird, Jen. Yeah, nice. Huh, Jen? Oh, good girl. This is my two-year-old English setter, Jenny. <laughs> She's just getting into it. I've had her grouse hunting a lot, but this is her second pheasant hunt. Good job. Good job, girl. Good job. Go get him, girl. Go get him. Go get him, girl. Get him, girl. That was a nice follow through. <laughs> Guest is Dennis Yudovich. Uh, he's got the pheasant preserve here and a great setup. We were out there today having a lot of fun. And Dennis, maybe talk a little bit about the, the area. You're about, what, 10 miles from Orr, Minnesota? We're actually uh, actually 14 miles from Orr, and okay. uh, we're west almost to the Cooch County line. Okay, so I mean a lot of people come up fishing, you know, in this area, and they can come over here and combine a fishing trip with a great pheasant hunt, you know, here in northern Minnesota. Absolutely. What <clears throat> happened in the fall here? A lot of guys will come up duck hunting, yeah. and uh, they'll hunt ducks in the morning, and then come here hunting uh, pheasants in the afternoon. Boy, you can't beat that. No, it makes for a full day of hunting. That's yeah, for and, sure. you know, Randy guided us this morning, and that was so much fun. He's got some beautiful dogs, and man, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, he's got great dogs. They've uh, done a good job. Actually, Randy's been our guide here at our place for 16 years. Wow, that's neat. Yeah, as far as the uh, setup, then you, uh, how many acres you have here? We got 685 acres, Butch, and uh, we've got like eight different hunting areas that we have, and you guys hunted in the North Clubhouse field today, and that's mm -hmm. a pretty well requested field. <clears throat> yeah, I know it's a lot of, uh, you have it, you know, some crops and some of them, and then you got watering holes, and it's a beautiful setup. I mean, it's just like you're hunting in South Dakota. Well, actually, you are. 
Yeah. <laughs> you are in South Dakota. That's what I tell everybody here. And we got, uh, like I said, the native grasses and the ponds on every one of the hunting areas because we've got to keep them dogs cool. Mm -hmm. When do you open up then, usually September? Yeah, actually we, we open up uh, on September 11th. That's generally our anniversary uh, for our wedding. That's when we got married. So it was always September 11th. So we end up uh, opening up there every year. Okay.